for over 100 years, man-made levees, tide gates, and pumps kept a once vast and thriving marsh drained of water and diminished in life. Then, in 2015, through the leadership of Sonoma Land Trust, the levees were breached and the tides returned, restoring a wetland that had existed for thousands of years along the shores of San Pablo Bay in what's now southern Sonoma County. Since the late 1800s, we've lost almost 90% of the wetlands surrounding the bay. But conservation organizations like Sonoma Land Trust are reversing the trend and restoring these critical habitats for wildlife and people. With this 1,000 acres restored, we now have the opportunity to witness firsthand the evolution of this area from diked farmland back into a thriving marsh and document the return of the once seemingly limitless avian community. Concurrent with restoration efforts, Sonoma Land Trust, aided by biological consultants and citizen scientists, began monitoring bird populations within the Sears Point Restoration Area. From 2016 to 2019, monitors conducted seasonal point count surveys to obtain data on annual richness and abundance, and habitat associations of water birds. Survey results were submitted to the California Avian Data Center to improve our understanding of long-term avian demographics and to make the information accessible to habitat managers, scientists, and curious citizens of the bay. Some of the various species found at the site include the long-billed curlew. North America's largest shorebird has an estimated population of just 140,000, but is readily observed at Sears Point probing its very long beak into the mud searching for aquatic invertebrates. In the same family as the curlew, and seen here feeding together, is the long-billed dowitcher. The tip of its long bill has tactile receptors that allow it to locate prey in the mud. Smaller shorebirds commonly found at Sears Point include the western and least sandpiper. The mesmerizing undulations of a sandpiper flock in flight is a sight to behold. Amongst the shorebirds, you may also spot some dabbling ducks, like these common mallards. Or birds that dive for food, like these western grebes. Underwater sonar surveys confirm that these birds know where the food is. Marshes are not just for the birds, however. They're also critical for people. Tidal wetland restoration is gaining momentum in the conservation community as we learn about new threats from accelerated climate change. Marshes are one of the best habitats on Earth for sequestering carbon. Wetlands also provide a buffer to sea level rise and storm surges, all the while filtering pollutants from runoff. In just five years, with a little help from us, nature has reclaimed the marsh at Sears Point and provided habitat for countless birds, fish, and invertebrates. And as the threats from climate change accelerate, we will continue to ally with nature to provide us with the best answers in our quest to adapt to this ever-changing world.